Hi there, do you need any help? Oh yeah, you're alright, but uh, basically I'm looking for a running trainer, a nice cushion trainer. Uh, I've signed up for a half marathon. Uh, it's in about nine months time and I suffer with pain in my knees. Okay. Uh, both knees, left and right knee. Uh, I was just wondering if you'd give me some advice. Okay, how long have you had the pain in your knees for? A little while. Is that every time you run? Yeah. Does it come on straight away or is it over a period of time? Yeah, it comes on straight away. Okay, um, well I don't even know, you picked up a cushion shoe there. Okay. So what we've got, we've got two different types of shoes. We've got a structured shoe. Right. which has a block on the instep, which is designed for overpronators. If you just feel the density of that block, okay. that's a lot firmer than the rest of the yeah. shoe, and that stops your foot from overpronating. What we've also got is a cushion shoe, or neutral, that doesn't have a block, right, okay. and that's more the same density yeah, right, softer. right the way down in the shoe. Okay. Depending on what kind of foot you've got, depends on which kind of shoe you require. Right, okay. What we can do to find it out, we can do a footwear service promise, where we'll run an analysis, we'll find out what kind of shoe you need, and then we'll take that shoe, and we'll give you a choice of custom fitted and an additional cost or just off the shelf price, but you're given a choice and it's completely free to try the process. Okay, brilliant. Um, is it, have we got time to do it today? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Come on over and we'll start the footwear service promise. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. Okay. Can I just ask what your shoe size is, please? Yeah, I'll take a size 10. Take a size 10, fantastic. If I could ask you to take your shoes and socks off and just roll your trousers up to about here for me. Okay. Okay, so what this is, this is the insole, where well, we said we custom mould the shoe. This is what we actually use to actually customise the shoe and fit the shoe for you. Right, okay. okay if I could actually just put your heel on this white line for me. Okay. And fantastic, if you lift off. Okay, we'll put those over to the, in the heater. We'll heat those up and while they're heating, we'll do your analysis for you. Okay, brilliant. Let's go over to the kiosk. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna put your insoles in the heater. The insoles go in here, they take two minutes to heat up. Okay. While they're heating up, we'll conduct your analysis and then they're ready to mold. Right, so if okay. you could just take a step onto the potter scope for me. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course, anywhere. Yep, anywhere on the glass. Perfect, and if you look down into the, uh, into the mirror, yeah. what you'll see is a green print. Okay. What this print's showing is it's showing your, your own medial arch. So your medial arch is actually falling into four categories. So right. there's high, normal, low or collapsed. Depending on what medial arch you have, depends on whether you're likely to overpronate, which is where you're rolling, right. which we spoke about with the shoe wall. Yeah, okay, yeah. Or you can supinate where you're actually on the outside of your foot. Right, okay. Depending, it's all linked to your medial arch. Right. Okay, so if you do overpronate, what it does, it affects the rest of your body's kinetic chain. Yeah, so that could explain why I'm getting problems in my knees. Absolutely. So if your kinetic chain is slightly out at the ankle, yeah. which is where you're opening, that then has an effect further up the kinetic chain, at the knee joint, at the hip joint. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. So what we'll do, I'll take a look, if you don't mind me touching your feet, yeah. we'll identify what type of medial arch you've got, yeah. and then we'll uh, put you into one of these categories. Okay, cool. Okay, if you just look forwards for me. Yeah. Okay, interesting. So you've actually got um, a fractionally low medial arch, okay. um, more so on your left foot than your right. Um, can I ask what, what knee you actually got more pain in? Uh, I get it in both, I'm not too sure which one. Okay, well both, both arches are slightly low. Um, so you are susceptible to overpronation. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we can take some pictures. We'll do the second part of the analysis where we'll actually take one picture of you standing still, one way you, where you bend your knees and one where you're in the wind last position. Okay. Okay. That'll then confirm whether or not you do overpronate or supinate. Okay. But yeah. off your arches, we're actually thinking you could potentially overpronate. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. If I can ask you to turn around 180 degrees and face the opposite way for me. Perfect. And keep your feet there. If I can ask you to just walk forwards to about here for me. Perfect. Keep your feet there. Okay. And if I could ask you to bend your knees to 45 degrees. Of course. Fantastic. Look forwards. Okay. And straighten your knees. And if you could just lift the toes. Perfect. Keep the balls of your feet on the floor. Fantastic. If you'd like to step on. Step off. Come on round. And we'll have a look at your photos. Okay. okay. So... Your pictures are saved in our database. From my observations, I've selected you as having a low medial arch. Okay. Slightly more on the left than the right, but we've categorized you as having a low medial arch. 
Do you suffer from any pins and needles or pore circulation in any part of the foot? No. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so if you can have a look at the pictures, if we go right foot first, just concentrate on the right foot for now, we have a red dotted line, which is our plumb line, which allows us to line it with the heel, and that then allows us to see whether or not you are tracking nice and neutral. Okay. And in picture one, where you stand nice and relaxed, there's yeah. just single body weight going through your ankle joint, and you can see right through your Achilles, you're tracking really well there. Right, okay. Okay, so what we then do is we ask you to bend your knees. When you bend your knees, what that does is called the power position, yeah. and that's four times your body weight going through the arches of your feet. So right. we simulate exercise. We add stress and we add load to the feet, which if you think about pretty much any exercise is simulating exactly that. Okay, right. Okay, so as you can see, if you look, on the right foot only, there is a tendency for mild overpenation on the right foot. Okay, yes. Okay? If we then go over to the left foot, again, lined up with the middle of the heel. Yeah. Again, tracking nice and straight, single body weight. Again, we put you in the power position, 45 degrees. There's significant overpenation on your left yeah, foot. Yeah, okay. If you remember from when I did the uh, visual analysis, your left, your left arch was slightly lower. Yeah, yeah. That does correlate to, to what I saw from. Right, okay. okay, so the fact that you overpronate lends itself to your kinetic chain being slightly out. So your kinetic chain, again, like we said earlier, starts at your feet. So the problem that you said about your knees, yeah. even though you, you overpronate slightly more on the left than the right, you actually do overpronate on both legs. Right, okay. Which means you are likely to get symptoms in both knees, which is what you, okay, yeah. what you seem to be talking about. Not to worry, what the body's got the foot has an internal mechanism. Right. That mechanism actually puts the foot into neutral. Okay. So if you lift your toes, yeah. it tightens the medial arch. Yeah, I can feel the pull. Yeah, and what that does, tightens the medial arch and it puts you into neutral. That's called the windlass mechanism. Right, okay. So the windlass mechanism is, is something that we look to utilize and it's what we want to be to achieve neutral in your shoes. Yeah. Okay, okay? so picture right. three. If you look what happens, so we're in an overpronated position. There is pressure on the medial arch here activate windlass and it brings you back to Got neutral back straight. okay yeah. so okay. all we've done there is we've activated the body's windlass mechanism okay okay so what we do we mold an insole in that position left and right the amount of support you need will be different because you overpronate different amounts right okay okay and we then try that in the shoe okay, okay so brilliant. if you'd like to come around we'll yeah. mold you an insole in windlass and yeah. uh, we'll try them in your shoes okay brilliant. okay can we move Press your right foot there and your left foot there for me. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, if you hover your right foot for me. Perfect. Okay, and keep your foot there. If you hover, give me your left foot. Perfect. And straighten your knees. And if you just look forwards for me. Fantastic. Okay, if you can just lift your left foot for me. Okay, and drop your left foot back on. If you give me your right foot. Okay, and take a step down for me. Okay, so that is your windlass for your right foot, and it's your neutral. We've now done that independent and specific to your right and your left feet. So we've classified you as an overpronator. So we'd recommend a structured shoe. So what I'll do, I'll get you out three structured shoes from three different brands. And then I'll give you a choice of custom fitted with the insole versus just off the shelf from the brand. Okay, so if you come on over, we'll get them for you. Okay, so what I've got you. I've got you an Asics, a Nike, and an Adidas, uh, all structured shoes, which is what we'd recommend for you. Um, we'll try the Asics on first. If I can give you the right shoe, we're going to take out the sock liner, and we're going to put your own customised support and fit in there. If you could try that on your right foot for me. And then, as I said, I'm going to leave you with the left foot as a general off-the-shelf off the shoe your more generic shoe, 
Then what I'd like you to do is stand up, and then I just want you to try and feel the difference. Bear in mind your right foot is where yeah. your customised shoe is, okay. and your left foot is more generic. I can feel a massive difference as I put it on. In terms of your right or your yeah, left? Yeah, there's more support under the arch. It feels like it's pushed me back how it should be. Okay, so your right foot, your customised shoe, has actually now got your own level of support in there, which is how much you need to achieve neutral in that particular okay. shoe. Yeah. Um, the insoles have a lifespan of 69 months, which is about the same as uh, you'd expect from your shoe. Yeah. Uh, we say 69 months because it depends, obviously, how much you use them within that 69 months. Okay. Um, the insoles are an additional cost. Okay. Um, how much is the additional cost? The insoles actually retail at £45. Pound. Right. Okay. Um, £45, pound, however, they can be used in multiple shoes. Um, so whereas this has its inbuilt structure and it's in there now, you can leave by the front door and whatever shoes you're wearing on that given so day. Can you use these insoles in the shoes shoe? Yep, you can use them in other shoes, remove the sock liner, and you can replace that sock liner with your own level of support and structure. Yeah, okay. They actually also come with a 30 day uh, comfort guarantee. 28, 29 days, if you're still not happy with the comfort and the satisfaction of them, you can return them for full refund. Okay. So you have, that, you have that peace of mind just there. Okay, so we'll get you, uh, we'll get you running, okay. uh, see how they feel when you run, and uh, we'll take you over to the track. And turn around and go back for me. How do they feel? Yeah, they feel really good. I think I've decided I'm going to go with the right side. The custom version? The custom version. Okay, good. That's the recommendation I'd make. Um, a good structured shoe uh, with your own structured support in there. Customised is, uh, is a recommendation I'd definitely make. Yeah, I can feel a lot more comfort. Uh, less knee pain on the right side than there is the left. Yeah. So. The right shoe and the right uh, customisation will go some way to correcting the overpenation problems, which hopefully will uh, help solve those needs out. Fantastic. So just to let you know, um, we invite you back in store in six to nine months. Come back in, have another analysis, go back through our footwear service promise, um, take a look at what's going on, uh, and we'll continue to uh, make sure you've got the right brilliant. shoe. Yeah, brilliant. Thank Fantastic. You. Yeah, thank you take a seat and we'll take you over to the cash desk and get that sorted for brilliant. you. Thank you. Okay, so I'll pop the receipt in the bag for you. Um, just a couple of things on the actual insoles themselves. Um, two hours a day for the first seven days, there's a breaking in period, just while your, your feet and your arches get used to wearing them. After that, wear them as often as possible, so for you to get the most out of your new insoles. Um, I'll pop those in the bag. In terms of cleaning, um, just make sure you use a hot soapy cloth, and just give them a wipe down, and let them uh, dry naturally, uh, and they'll be good to go. Uh, brilliant. Fantastic. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks thank for coming much in. For your help. Thanks a lot. Thank you.